Hello, Steliana here and in this video I would like to share with you a little exercise creating characters out of everyday objects that you have around the house. The objects I chose for this example are a ball of yarn and a pair of scissors. This is the example I made for you today. I created an interaction between the two characters I, and I used crayon, a crayon, colored pencils, liners, colored liners and liners, and of course an eraser. First of all I sketched out the characters with the crayon and then I did the contour with liners, different thickness of liners, and then started coloring first with crayons and then with the colored liners and markers. So in the next part of the video I want to show you how I develop these characters and how you can create your own little characters from objects you have around the house. First we're going to start with the ball of yarn. It's more simple so we're going to sketch out a few examples and exercise expressions and actions. So we're going to start out with a few circles so we have the base to try out a few expressions. Expressions that we make using eyes, mouth and eyebrows in particular. So we're going to just make the first one a little happy little ball of yarn. And I'm going to add a little bit of action with adding feet and arms. The most important part in creating a character is the expression, the eyes, the mouth and how we do them. For example, if we want to make the character scared or worried, I just do the eyebrows a little more wavy and the mouth as well. I make the middle of the eye a bit smaller and here we have a little worried ball of yarn and I'm gonna put his arms on his head. It's important to start sketching these characters separately so you find the perfect one. I'm going to make the legs as well a little wavy to suggest that he is afraid or worried or trembling. Let's try another one creating maybe an angry face. To create an angry face I suggest making the eyes and most of the shapes a bit more square or straight like this. We make the middle, the upper part more straight and in the middle of the eye we make it stick to the upper part and then the eyebrows of course straight and closer together and maybe this character has is thinking a bit stressed about what he's thinking. Let's try another one a bit more sad this time. 
So to make the sad one, I start from the more worried or angry one and just go down with all the lines. Like this and the middle of the eye is looking down sad. And the eyebrows are falling, sort of. And now the legs and the arms just next to the body, very sad. Now we can try maybe a surprise character, big wide eyes. And arms up, maybe he's cheering, eyebrows are up and you can see a distance between them. And then the legs as well, maybe a little more spread, so he is in a certain action. I can show you a few sketches I did before, trying out the character a little like this. Another exercise I suggest you do before creating your final draft of the drawing is trying out your tools, what you're going to use. For example, if we try to make the ball of yarn, we see how using the pencils and how we can create the lines, what type of lines then we can take liners and see how these look. We can maybe create a more girly ball of yarn and we extract some of these little threads and create like hair. This is a hair. can try using colored pencils and we can try using the side of the crayon like this. Or using brush liners which is a little more soft and you can also use the side to use the thick part of it thicker lines or create little soft threads coming out like this the purple purpose of this is just to play around and exercise till you find the right character the right expression the the right position of arms and legs it's a lot easier if you uh, create an interaction between the two objects because that's how you create an idea and a whole composition. I hope you are inspired by this. I hope you like it and I really look forward to seeing what characters and stories you create with objects that you have around the house. Have fun! Have a lot of creativity and inspiration and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.